gives you a boost of energy. It like I've got feels a good, good to get pampered. Yes, <laughs> I've got a boost of energy. I might have to ask my husband to take me out tonight. The Faces Above Cancer event was a first for the Cancer Center. A team of stylists provided some fresh new looks to people living with the effects of cancer treatment. Some people, obviously, we know, lose their hair, don't feel really good, have a hard time getting through the day, maybe have a hard time eating. The special treatment was a welcome break for New Albany grade school teacher Robin Eldridge. Oh, it was so much fun. It felt good to have somebody doing that. Um, you know, you do it to yourself, you don't really know if you're doing it right or not, but to have an expert doing it, it was just, you felt like a princess. Already a seven-year breast cancer survivor, Eldridge found out Valentine's Day she had stage four pancreatic cancer with just a 5% chance of living past a year. Confident she'll beat those odds, she decided to go brave and bald for her photo shoot. Classy. I'm not embarrassed by it. I don't look good with it, but it's who I am. And I'm fighting this battle, and I have a lot of people behind me, and this is part of the battle, and I'm going to win it. You work it, girl. Yep. Then there's Kathy Henderson, whose pink boxing gloves represent her three-year fight against breast cancer. I always tell people I'm team positive, team strong. I'm never going to give up. Cancer will never win. I may have cancer, but cancer doesn't have me. The event gave patients the opportunity to share their cancer journeys and be reminded they don't have to face the disease alone. There you go.